In this video, I want to show how gaming companies can deploy multiplayer game servers at the edge by using Open Nebula edge computing features along with Kubernetes. In particular, I'll show how to focus on provisioning and managing the infrastructure that can support a gaming company to build and deploy a multiplayer game by using the Agonist platform for multiplayer game servers and using the Kubernetes service along with edge computing features provided by Open Nebula. And then I'll follow up with a demo based on these tools. Agonis is a, an open source platform developed by Google in collaboration with Ubisoft on top of the distributed system platform Kubernetes. Agonis extends Kubernetes in such a way one can create, run, manage, and scale dedicated game servers within Kubernetes clusters using standard Kubernetes tooling and APIs. Agonis's main focus is online multiplayer fast-based games, such as first-person shooter games and multiplayer online battle arena games. These are games that, are, that require dedicated low-latency game servers. And latency is very much a key concern, since the competitive real-time aspects of the games require quick responses from the server. That means that the connection from the player device to the game server should be the shortest possible in terms of latency. Higher latency, in turn, degrades the perceived game quality. In order to deploy Agonis's system, we need resources geographically close to the players. And this is where Open Nebula edge computing features play an important role for providing an automated solution through which the gaming companies can build their own light and agile edge computing environments and they can provision the Kubernetes clusters on the edge nodes in close proximity to the gamers. All of this to satisfy the low latency requirements. So Open Nebula takes an opportunistic approach to its edge node provisioning model by taking advantage of already available resources that are offered by third party bare metal resource providers. In this way, gaming companies, they have the ability to easily create their own edge environments and manage them with simplicity without having to provide or own those underlying resources at all. And once the edge physical nodes from existing bare metal cloud providers are provisioned, Open Nebula will allow to deploy in a software form the other infrastructure components that are needed on the edge, such as the software-defined networking, the virtual network functions, software-defined storage, and virtual machines or containers. By providing a marketplace with pre-built appliances, Open Nebula facilitates the deployment and management of applications that run on the edge, such as Kubernetes clusters. And the Kubernetes service appliance that is available in the Open Nebula marketplace, it allows you to bootstrap a fully functional Kubernetes cluster on the edge. All right, now let's get ready for the demo. So in the demo, what I'm gonna do is provision edge physical nodes by using Mini One, which is an easy to use deployment tool to build Open Nebula cloud-based environments. Then I'll deploy Kubernetes clusters by using the market appliance service on the edge physical nodes. And then I'll follow up by deploying the Agonist platform for provisioning Exonotic game servers, which is a first person shooter game. Here we have the Open Nebula front end without any other resources that's been deployed on a packet host. By using Mini One, we're going to provision physical edge nodes from different facilities of the packet cloud provider. One resource is going to be deployed on an AMS One location in Amsterdam, together with the configuration of virtual networks, image data store, and the Kubernetes service appliance from the edge marketplace. Another one's going to be deployed on SJC One, which is Silicon Valley in California. And the third one will be deployed on NRT1 in Tokyo, Japan. Okay. So for each of these locations, the Kubernetes service appliance from the marketplace will be imported for each data store. And right now, the deployment activity is set, it'll probably take about five minutes to complete. Okay. 
And so about five minutes has elapsed, right? And we've come back. You can see that the resources have been deployed and they're ready within open, the Open Nebula cloud environment. Now what we're gonna do is instantiate the Kubernetes cluster in each location. For the AMS1 location, we instantiate a VM by using the template of the Kubernetes service imported by Mini1. For SJC1 and NRT1, we'll essentially do the same. Okay, again, the Kubernetes instantiation, it'll take about five minutes or so. So we'll wait five minutes until the Kubernetes clusters are ready and I'll return. Okay, the Kubernetes clusters are now ready in all three locations. Okay, we'll show the latency from each of the locations by pinging the VM public IPs. And ultimately we select the facility with the lowest latency. In our case, it's the AMS1 in Amsterdam. So we'll connect with SSH to the Kubernetes cluster deployed on AMS1, and we're gonna deploy the Agonist system and a game server. First, we, we create the namespace for the Agonist system. Then we deploy the Agonist platform by using kubectl. After we've deployed the Agonist platform, we can proceed to deploy a game server for the Exonotic game, which is a free first person shooter game. We are gonna use the game server YAML file that is available on Agonist GitHub repository We'll check if the Agonist system is running by using kubectl, get pods in the Agonist system namespace. Then we can deploy the Exonotic game server. And here we'll have to wait about five more minutes until the game server is ready. Okay, so once the game server is ready, we can connect with the Exonata client to the game server by using the public IP of the Kubernetes VM and use the port that's displayed by the kubectl get game server command. Okay. Entering the IP and port. All right. And now we can join the game that's been created on the Kubernetes cluster. Let's take a look. And here we go. All right, I really hope this was helpful.